everyone welcome to our channel code chef this is kusumlata bhat and today we are going to solve the problem chef goes for a date which is of cakewalk difficulty level and it requires array as the prerequisites so let's have a look on the problem statement chef asks chefina for a date but chef is a hard working guy and has a value for money so he pre planned about his date and fixed a budget to spend from his saving given a fixed budget B and an array A of size n for the amount of n expenses. You have to calculate the total amount and check whether the date cost him beyond his fixed budget. If the total amount goes beyond budget, then print yes; otherwise, no. So we are simply given with an array A. With an array A, whose ith element represent the ith expense. and we are given with the budget b so this is the array of expenses and we have to check whether the sum of all expenses that is sum of this array is greater than this budget or not if it is greater than this budget then we have to simply print yes or else we have to output the no Now let's see the input and output for this problem. So for the input point of view, first line is going to contain the test cases T, and then the test case will follow. The first line of each test case contains of a single line of input two integers n and b, where n is the number of expenses and b is budget. Second line of each test case contains n integers a zero a one to a n minus one separated by a single space. now for the output for each test case output in a single line answer yes or no now in the constraint t value is going to lie between 1 and 100 n value is going to lie between 1 and 10 to the power 4 and ai value is going to lie between 1 and 10 to the power 4 so let's see it on the sample input so here we have two test cases and we have two expense and budget as 5 for the first test case so here we can see that the sum of this array is 6 which is greater than 5 so we are printing yes here and then for the sixth second test case we have n value as 4 and b as 15 so let's calculate the sum of these four expenses so it is here 14 which is smaller than 15 so we are printing no here So this problem is simple. We have to simply take the input and calculate the sum, and then we have to check whether it is greater than b. If it is greater than b, we can simply print yes, or else we can print no. The time complexity of this problem will be simply o of n, in which we will be taking the input of n elements, and if we declare an array separately, then we then the time space complexity of this problem will be o of n. or else we can we need not to declare the array explicitly we can simply calculate the sum of the variables while taking the input only on in the variable side so this will bring down the space complexity this is space complexity to o of 1 and this is the time complexity and also in this we need not to care of the data type long long because we know there can be at most 10 to the power 4 elements and each value each element can have the maximum value of 10 to the power 4 so our sum is never going to be greater than 10 to the power 8 so it's not possible and so we need not to care about the overflow condition so let's implement the solution in the c++ language so at first we have to take the t test cases as input then for t test cases that is for every test case we have to take the number of expenses as input and b as the fixed budget then we will be taking the input of it by using cin and then what we can do we can simultaneously take the input of the element of the array and we can simply add it to our sum variable 
and last at last we can check that if our sum is greater than b we can output yes or else we have to output no so let's run it on the given sample test cases so we had for the test case Two two five four two four fifteen four three five two. So we are getting yes no as the answer. So let's submit it and check whether our code passes or not. So we can see that we are getting the correct answer as verdict here. Now let's have a look on the Python code. So here we are taking the input of t test cases, and then for every test case we are running, we are taking the input of n expenses and v budget. Then we are creating a list of expenses, and then we are simply initializing our answer variable for calculating the sum of the array. Then we are going to every element of list, and we are calculating the sum of every element. and if our sum is greater than b then we are printing yes else we are printing no so let's run it on the test cases so we can see here that we are getting the same output as the sample output so let's submit it and see whether it passes all of the test cases or not so we can see here that it is giving us the correct answer as verdict now let's have a look on some of the common mistakes that we can have in this code so one of the major mistake which we can have in these yes no type of code is not printing yes and no in the correct case mentioned so we are mentioned to print the yes and no in the upper case and we are not mentioned any other data so we have to make sure we are printing the yes and no in the upper case letter only and also we are providing the output in a separate line that is we are not printing the answers in the one line only we have we have to make sure that we are printing the answer in the separate line for every test case so that's it for the video guys thanks for watching